Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at what Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. Guidance for Sagittarius, please Spirit. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you and Spirit does want to bring through direct messages. So take notice of any images or messages that really resonate for you. Let's take a look at this first card, a blessing on your day, or in this case, it's a blessing on your week. So this is the go ahead. This is a green light, Sagittarius. This is a powerful week for you to walk in and to own it and to be your, to be in your best, to be your best self and to be in your best energy. So there is a blessing following you this week. So what an amazing energy that is to show up to begin your reading. It is number five. So this means that recently there have been some changes in your life or some events that have taken place that have shifted things a little bit. And perhaps things have been a little bit bumpy or rocky recently. If that's the case, a bit tumultuous, Spirit is saying with this card that you're going to have a smooth week ahead. Things are going to run smoothly. You're going to be in the best energy for you. So this is honestly such a beautiful energy, Sagittarius. What a wonderful energy to show up for you this week. Let's take a look at this deck. This is this is a romance deck. And so this card here has come out for you. Let's read what it says. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So perhaps you are in need of making more effort in your relationship and you'll know if that resonates for you. Perhaps you're waiting on someone to make the effort toward you. And if that's the case, there may be some delay in that person reaching out to you. So Spirit is suggesting here, perhaps you reach out to them first. There's a reconnection happening here, a reconnection. There's a potential of that happening, a reconnection. And if you make the effort, then this relationship can go the mile. Beautiful. Message for Sagittarius, please, Spirit, with this deck of cards. This one here, I feel, is yours. Let's take a look. What a beautiful image, beautiful sunflower. Surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. If this card resonates for you, Sag, have this as an intention going into the week that you're setting an intention to release any remnants of low self-esteem. Anything there at all is going to be removed. And I feel that this beautiful sunflower is you coming out into full bloom. This is you shining your radiance and your confidence all over, all over your life, all over your situations and circumstances this week. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Guidance for Sag, please, Spirit. Guidance and messages for Sag. This one here is your card. Let's see what it says. Success, beautiful. Thrive to understanding. So there is, you're going to be thriving in some sort of success this week, which is beautiful and good for you to know, especially if you've been working towards something. It's either coming through this week or it will be coming through very soon. An understanding of what it takes, a logical standpoint and being very practical about things. Those things need to be taken into consideration for the success to come through. So there's an understanding of these practical matters, which will bring through success for you, Sagittarius. And it says on this card here, the affirmation is I am now willing, ready and able to create new pathways to success. 
I have the magic touch. I have the magic touch. That sounds very confident to me. You being very empowered. And I see that coming from this card as well. So that is a large theme for the week that you are self-empowered and that you're releasing what no longer serves you and you're moving into the week with a beautiful high vibe energy. You may be thinking of a new pathway, doing something a bit differently, going down a new path, a new avenue, looking into uh, pursuing a new dream or wanting to create something new in your life. If that's the case, Spirit is saying here with this card, yes, you will have the success that you need if you have the ultimate understanding of what it takes. So it's grounded in reality. It's not fanciful at all. It's very grounded, this success, this new pathway that you're undertaking. So what a beautiful energy that is. I love it, Sag. Let's take a look at this deck. Guidance for Sagittarius. A message for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. This card here. The Seven of Swords. This is you on top of the mountain. You've scaled the mountain. You've climbed the mountain. You have overcome obstacles and things in your way. And then you get to the top and you find that you have some negative influences upon you, oppressing you, trying to hold you back. And you have a wand here, you're holding it, you're setting boundaries for yourself. And you're standing your ground and you're standing up for yourself. So very empowered energy once again. If you are going through um, an emotional time with something or it feels like you've gotten to the top of one challenge and now you you need to surmount another challenge this is a card of encouragement spirit is saying yes you will be able to set boundaries and barriers here to allow the energy to flow and the freedom that you need to get through this uh, situation you have the four of the Four of Cups, this is a lovely energy coming in toward you. You're not seeing it just yet. But what I'm feeling for you is that this is great news coming in. This is an offer. Um, this is the green light to go ahead this week. You can't see it. You're looking elsewhere at the moment, but it's coming in and it's great news. It's a good it's something very positive coming into your life and you know it deep down, you know that it's coming in. And so there's going to be a feeling when this enters your life in manifest form, you will get an eerie feeling because you know that you already knew this was going to happen. This offer was coming through, this news was coming through, this, this support was coming through this is going to be different for everyone what this is this been being handed to you being offered to you you can't see it in your reality just yet or just now but you know deep down that it's coming so that is something very exciting for you it's a very positive thing about to enter your life we have the Eight of Swords. Now I'm seeing this linked into um, negative self-talk because the Swords is about communication and you're tying yourself up in ropes and in knots and you're blindfolded. So there's confusion mentally. So this is all about the low self-esteem or being trapped in a situation or a negative a negative. Uh, relationship or a communication dynamic with someone it's about overcoming that and breaking free from that and that's what I'm seeing here with a blessing on your day a blessing on your week this is going to be looked at and overcome with ease with relative ease actually and with this seven of wands here you're taking some actions to break through and away from this restriction whatever this represents for you We have more sword energy here. This is the nine of swords. So you're staying up at night, you're anxious. This can include worry and sadness, grief, 
um, being uh, feeling alone and isolated. There is darkness here in the background and the thoughts are running wild. Now that energy is going to be turned around because something is out of balance. Something is not balanced in your life creating this. It may be the something internally and the negative self-talk and self, low self-esteem, but it may be something else. You know what spirit is talking about here for you. If it resonates, you know exactly what spirit is saying. It may be to do with a relationship that you're in, for example, maybe to do with your work or business, where something is being quite stressful and this is a breakthrough week for you. Where you can put a smile on your face. You're going to be the victor. You're going to have peace of mind. There is a mysterious offer or something very positive entering your life. Going back to this four of cups. You're looking at these three cups down here. What you have already right in front of you. What is manifest. You don't see this coming in. But this is the green light. The go ahead. And it will break through and release the... The anxieties and the worries that I'm seeing here in these two cards. Let's take a look here. So your final card is the Queen of Pentacles. So you may have an earth sign that's around you significant in some way. You as the Queen of Pentacles, I love this because the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded, very practical, very in, a, in her elements um, materially. So if you are worried or have anxiety around something material in your life, work, finances, money, possessions, or maybe even a relationship, there is a groundedness and a practicality that goes along with this queen. You're going to work through it bit by bit. You're going to pace yourself. You're going to understand each step along the way. There's no rushing ahead or forcefully trying to manage something. No, this is you going with the flow and taking things as slowly as they need to be taken. So you have some amazing energies and guidance coming through with these cards, Sagittarius. You really do. I love that you're going to have success, which also, because it's touching on the queen, success with um, something material. It may be your health, maybe finances, maybe your work. Um, very grounded reality here. So there is success. Also, it's on, it's below relationships. So it may be a relationship that you're going to have success with. So I just love these energies. That it has a really beautiful vibration to them. I hope you've enjoyed the reading, Sag, and it's been helpful for you in some small way. If you did like the reading, you can click the like button or subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. Thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate and love you all so much. Have a wonderful week, Sag, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.